We get it from my mama. 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 Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, this is Two Melanin Mommies again. This is Olympica. And I'm Cicely. And we are here just to talk about some of our beauty products that um, we acquire within the last few weeks. But before we get started, we want to just talk about some things that's trending right now. Um, we want to give a rest in peace to Kobe Bryant and his daughter and to all of the others that lost their lives in the helicopter crash. Um, also, we want to give a congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs for winning the Super Bowl yesterday. So, go Chiefs. And I know there's a lot of disappointed 49er fans out there, a lot in my family. So, sorry, y'all. I don't watch football. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but like I said, we were just going to talk about some of the stuff that we acquired, some of our beauty products, you know, maybe some of the things that um, we like and you can go out and and buy and we'll put some of the links in the descriptions and things like that below. But also before that, we would like you to like and subscribe uh, and also go on and like our Instagram page, which is two, at 2 Melanin Mommies. So check that out as well and go in and subscribe and like that too. We need all the support we can get right now. We're trying to build Melanin Mommies. So please, if anything, share our video to your friends. Ask your friends even just to check us out, even just to give a like, or if they don't like it, any support right now, we appreciate at this time. But we were, like Olympica said, we wanted to talk about skincare, and I know I had a, been having a couple people ask me, like, what do I use for skincare? And normally I'm pretty simple, but now that I'm getting older, I notice that I do like focusing now on a lot more hydration, um, I like to even work on my neck area and even the under eye. I'm still kind of on the fence when it comes to eye mask and things like that. I have started trying some out recently, but I want to use them a little bit more before I tell you what I felt worked well and what didn't work well. But normally with my normally facial daily routine, I normally before I was actually using a brand by the name of Glossier. We will post all the brands somewhere in the video, maybe on the left of Olympica on the right side or in the middle that will be up there where you see the products that we actually use, the price, and then you could even go check them out for yourselves and see if they work for you because me and her both have two very different skin types to explain what I have to use compared to what she has to use and we're two different pigment tones as well but normally my normal face wash would be the glossier milk jelly and i did use that for a period of time and it worked really well it gives a lot of hydration i believe they're vegan they phthalate cruelty free a really nice brand i've even used one of their bombs their salve bombs you can even use it like on the elbows if you're out somewhere and you're dry you can use it on your lips it'll keep your lips hydrated it also came with um, a primer moisturizer, but I do notice with that primer moisturizer, I would did not like wearing it under my makeup. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, I was wearing it under my makeup and I felt like my makeup was slipping a lot. And this is actually too before I went more into more of like an Instagrip jelly primer or one that's more for pore control. But I and I also do SPF. So on their website, you could definitely go on there. They have a package where you can get all three together, where you get the milk jelly wash, you'll get the moisturizer, and you can even get the sunscreen. And you can get that all in a deal. And they even have different serums and things like that on their website. So if you're somebody with maybe sensitive skin or you have normal skin, I think it's a great website for you to use, especially if you're looking into building hydration so i basically went from that when i noticed it wasn't working as well anymore i have received like this tula skincare um you probably can't see it that good but like i said we'll have everything up on the screen it does have a salicylic acid in it, and i wanted to try it recently because i noticed with a couple bumps that i did have they did leave 
dark marks, but I did pop them. <laughs> but when I was younger, I used to could pop bumps and nothing would stay on my face. <laughs> but yeah, now, now getting older, you can't you gotta prevent and can't do a lot of the things that you did as young. We, we're not, um, it doesn't rejuvenate, your skin doesn't rejuvenate as you get older. So, you know, you have to use some. I guess our skin really. cell rate goes down compared to how it did before. So that's basically why we age. But I can't say with the salicylic acid, it was nice to use in between. I believe Tula is a clean brand. They're known for adding antioxidants inside of all of their products. Um, I can say it did help me a lot with my oil control and things like that. Um, but as far as to buy it again, I don't know if I would buy it again because Tula, it is kind of expensive. It's not a cheap brand. It is a higher end brand. They do make great products, but next time I might try something different when it comes to my salicylic acid. But a key to my moisturizing right now that I do love, and I did even receive it in my BoxyCharm. I don't even know if you can really see it, but let me even just stop. But it's the Glow Recipe, and they have this watermelon glow, and it's like a water gel moisturizer. So this is really nice for me to wear under my makeup because it doesn't let me get too oily. I can use that. And then I still come on and use my sunscreen. And then I even have another like primer glass I use up under my makeup. But I'll get into that later after Olympica talks about her skincare regimen. But I definitely say once again for normal oily combination. And I did go and check out the Glow Recipe website. And they do say they're geared towards women. Some with hyperpigmentation, inflammation. Mm -hmm. They're a completely vegan, clean brand. They have serums. I wouldn't necessarily tell somebody with hyperpigmentation and really bad acne to buy their face wash, but when it comes to maybe moisturizer, face mask, and things like that, that would be really great to use because it's water-based, it'll keep it calm, and what, like I said, it's a clean product. Yeah, and I suffer for, from hyperpigmentation and dark marks and things like that. So my routine has been, I've been using this uh, Urban Skin RX. So, and I've been using that for a while and I, I didn't bring it, but I'm, it's all over Instagram. So and we'll can show you guys. It, right. Um, but it's called Urban Skin RX. I use, they have like three different ones. One's is for like age, anti-aging. One is for, um, if you're like more acne prone and then one is basically for even tone. So I switch between the acne prone one and the, uh, and the even tone one, uh, like for my dark marks and things like that. And then I also been using um, moisturizer from actually Mary Kay, and uh, we'll put that link in the box in the in the description too. But it's a and it has SPF uh, actually thirty, and so I use that as a day cream, and then I use the and it comes with a it's a night cream, and I use the one at night at night time. Um, and then I've been using some also like a hydrating gel too, um, which is good for if you have oily skin and hyperpigmentation, um, you know, more prone to acne um, because it's more of like a gel. It's very light and it is something that you could use under your makeup as well. I did get that from Mary Kay. They have a very good one hydrating gel for people with with uh, oily skin. So we'll uh, put that link in what the description. What kit did you too. use by Mary Kay? Um, I didn't use it. I didn't use the kit. I just, I used the, um, you didn't get the, the time wise 3d when you purchased. Oh, you didn't get the wash or anything. You I didn't get the wash the at first because I was using the urban skin or X, okay. but this last purchase, I did get the wash. So I do have the full line of Mary Kay now from the wash. Um, you know, the SPF day cream, I have the hydrating gel, but I just started using uh, the wash. I may have used it a couple of times, time but I, wise, right. I, I, now I've been interchanging, you know, so one I have for like anti-aging, but then I still need the one to help with my hyperpigmentation and my dark spots. Mm. So it's kind of like what you, what works well for you. Sometimes even the whole line may not be something that you, you know, you all go with. Cause I don't use the whole line of urban Skin RX. I just really mainly use their cleanser, and then I use something different for like my dark marks. And I use the Mary Kay. Also, they have a toner, um, a skin toner that helps with the hyperpigmentation. It's a serum too. So I've been using um, that. 
for more of my dark marks. And it's been pretty good as a good combination. I could see the definitely the difference in my skin. It's smoother, it's brighter. Mm. Um, it's still a slow, it's, I mean, not the dark marks is still like a slow process of going away. But I feel like, cause you know, you, you want instant gratification from and that. I can see the difference. Her skin looks really good. Yeah, so it's, so it's actually gotten better though. To, but the key is find something that's for you and to keep uh, consistent. But the key is find something that's for you and to keep uh, consistent. Yes. You have to be consistent, I noticed, you know, because in the past I would start a regimen and then never finish or, you know, wouldn't do it at night or sometimes, oh, you're too tired and things like that. If anything, even especially at night, because that's when your skin rejuvenates and especially if you're wearing makeup, if, if anything, use, a, you know, use a, a makeup wipe. Make sure you get your makeup off, even if you don't do your whole routine. Yeah. I get it. When you get home, you're tired. If you've been out, you know, partying all night, you know, but at the most, at least, you know, mm -hmm. take the makeup off with a makeup wipe. Use and your you know, SPF 30 every day. And that's, and that is a key to <laughs> every to women day that have dark spots. So that's what I use every day, especially if I'm going to go out in the sun. Um, and you want to avoid long periods in the sun because it reverses the progress that you make in the dark marks, especially if you're not using the SPF. So the sun is just going to darken those marks. They're already dark, so the, sun's are, the sun will just make them darker. So that's why you want to protect it with the F SPF. And then not try to stay out of as much dark, you know, direct sunlight as, as possible. So that's just like been my you know, my, my regimen. And then, so I brought some stuff like that we got for, as far as makeup. Um, oh, can Mary I just Kay. add one more thing, what you were saying about the skincare. And I want everybody to know too, if you are starting a skin, regimen it takes six to eight weeks for anything to go through the skin so especially if you're trying to clear up hyperpigmentation if you're trying to become more lumpy i don't know how he even busted through it's on airplane mode you're on wi-fi oh that was my daughter J Mo mocha in the background if you want to look up some good natural hair um, Afros, yes, curly. What to use and the products look corrupt. She's also another young woman who's dealing with hyperpigmentation, dark spots, and she would also be good to watch as well. But back to what I was saying, it takes six to eight weeks for any product to go through the skin, especially if you have problematic skin. If you're somebody like me that's more normal to comp to like oily or something like that, my new regimen, I'm going to give it a try because like I said, even with the Tula, I only used it for four weeks, but I said I'm going to start trying new products every four weeks it's just something i want to try see how my skin does keep mainly a lot of my same serums and moisturizers and spf but maybe kind of change up my face washes because i notice right now if i use one brand too long it doesn't work for me anymore right and we just want to try some things even to enlighten you guys bring some stuff to you guys you know um that we that actually tried because that's what I like to do. I like to read reviews. I like to see you know what mm -hmm. the results are before I go out and spend my money. So you know, um, just like you know, we're spending some money, not too much, but at least we can kind of like let, you know you'll have someone to, that actually used the product and to let you know how it actually works. And once again, I'm <laughs> still gonna tell you, ladies, to sign up with BoxyCharm because a lot of my high end skincare products I have received from them. And they've been some of the best products. I would even continue to buy them now after receiving them. You know, normally I'm like, oh, I still like to try and keep it affordable. But I know with skincare, I'm willing to spend more money when it comes to my skincare. So once again, I am going to tell you guys to sign up for that. And we will do another video on that at another time. But um, as far as any body skincare, you have any favorites that you've been using? Um, I've been using the Shea Moisture, so um, their coconut oil like body wash. Um, it's really good, and it it I mean it makes it. you feel like you have lotion on. So they have a body wash, and then they have the we don't get ashy no more. <laughs> right, the cream <laughs> and which is uh, shea butter and coconut oil. 
<laughs> so I've been loving those as far as like moisturizing and then the shower gel. Mm-hmm. Um, another one. I haven't even tried the shower gel. Yeah, they have the shower gel. So it looks exactly. Oh my goodness. It looks exactly like this, but. It's in the shower. It's in the. Mm-hmm. I've a seen them in gel. Ulta though. I think yeah. I've seen them in. And it's uh, it gets like after you rinse it off, like I could totally tell. Like it, it even in the shower, I mm-hmm. could tell. Like you're you're kind of oily, which is what I want and on, I love. On, I love right getting on, out especially on my body. Not so much on the face, but yeah, yeah the as body. far as the body though, it's very moisturizing. I mean, and 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 then this is really good too. I love 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 this. It's a little bit expensive. Raw shea butter, but. It works really good um, if you have bruises, and I mean, you know, a lot of people know the benefits of just raw shea butter. I mean, it's um, it'll help sunscreen. with dark spots, right? It works as a sunscreen. If you are more of a person that have dry skin, you can use it as a makeup base. Um, you know, it, it helps like uh, rough on your elbows. You know, if you get dark here, I put it in my bath water. I've been doing that right. Lately. So it has a lot of good. Got a lot of good uses. Now, it's not as user-friendly because it is very hard. So, you kind of like, you know, have to let it melt up in your hands. But when you put it on, though, it's amazing. It's I wish it came with like a little wooden spoon or something where you could scoop it out. Yeah. But I realized they really don't want you using that much. They really just want you to probably use a small amount. Right. Because a little little does go a long way. I'm just extreme with my rub down. See, I am too. So... so. (laughs) I'm going to use a little bit more than the average person. You see, she said she is too, but those are some, I even really even been loving the soap and glory. When me and Olympia went Mm -hmm. to Arizona for my daughter's graduation, we just happened to go on the Walgreens around Christmas, Mm -hmm. wasn't it? And this was probably anywhere from $40, $60, maybe $80 worth of product. And we ended up only spending $20 due to the sale it came with these masks. It came with the scrub and the scrub I on my, my feet. I use it on my back and it has me feeling really smooth. And it's even better because Olympica's even trying to show you guys the body bomb. Yeah. Have you tried any of your masks yet? No, I haven't tried any of the masks yet, but I have been using the shower gel. She's I've used the. <laughs> uh, well, I, you know, yes, I am. Because, you know, my, my I have more. Um, problematic skin so um so i just try to you know watch what but I but everything on in those masks are pretty much essentials and antioxidant ingredients i did read behind them none of them had alcohol or nothing they were like flower abstract and things like that and i used one and i felt amazing yeah i'm gonna still use it but i just haven't used it yet but the kit did come with this like she said the scrub which i've been using on my elbows Mm -hmm. and things like that underarms yeah when you know you put on deodorant you might get that film under there sometimes um and then yes the uh the body butter it's very good and has a really good scent it has a good scent like you know if you wanted to shower at night time and you know um you know get in the bed it's really good not too good. oily right, but not still oily, moisturized right. it's like the perfect little right body balm to put on if you want to you know before going to bed because i know i don't like to be so oily getting under the covers yeah. and stuff like that if you shower at night so that's something really good again it's a uh, soap and glory and what what because they have different um they do they come in different smells but i this haven't liked the best, many right, of the smells right. she even went last night and what was that you said you said? i don't know they had like some <laughs> vanilla and coconut i mean it I, I really didn't like those but the one in the pink is the original know, the original you can't go wrong with with that it's kind of like a, a throwback yeah to um some of the first um Perfumes, perfumes or maybe bath soaps, soaps like taking it back to Avon or something like that. Right, yeah. right, right. So, you know, <laughs> that's what it is. But, it, you know, it's really good. And it the is. scrub is worth it. Mm-hmm. The scrub is worth it. Like, the kit is not out there anymore. But no. if you want to piece together um, some of the stuff that we're showing, like, at least the, the scrub is really worth it yeah. to get. So... And that's those are some and one more tip um when i'm not wearing makeup i do want to advise i moisturize moisturize serum 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 so normally if i'm not wearing makeup on the day i'm gonna wear my serum and a heavier moisturizer 
and steal my sunscreen just to keep me glowy and dewy during those days just to try and have my skin just and the sunscreen is also a protectant too exactly. because the uv rays are harsh and even for melanin now yes so you know like we were made for the sun but now that we have all this climate change and everything is changing like the rays are very harsh even for our skin so we need to get into wearing sunscreen because my son comes home sunburned and sunburned lips. So I'm trying to get him more into nurturing those things. And I notice I have to get him an SPF now. Let's get into some of our faves that we've been using as far as makeup. Olympia, you want to go into some of yours that you've been using and you feel are good for the skin? Um, well, we did. We So we did an order, a big order from Mary Kay. So I want to shout her out before we get started. Uh, Kanitha Wallace out of Atlanta, hey, Georgia. And she is like a top seller, Melanin Mommy, doing her thing out there in um, Atlanta with the Mary Kay. You know, she got the car, the pink car, and she do it, okay? <laughs> and so, anyway, we did a big order, and we ordered some things just to kind of try. So I actually have on almost full face of Mary Kay just to kind of show you guys. So um, I like it. I um I ordered two foundations um and it's the uh, W bronze W150 and then also in the matte and then, then I ordered one in the luminous. I now I have not had a chance to try the luminous one because I'm more oily so I thought I'd try the matte first because that's mainly like the foundations that I go for is more of a of a matte type of look. So this is the one the matte and it's kind of like in a little has purple on it and then the luminous is uh has the pink so you'll know like the difference and the between. luminous had a really pretty sheer glow it's really pretty i seen it in the bottle and just rubbed it on the skin and it has a beautiful sheen i was scared to order it because with me being as deep as i am i even took their quiz and it was totally off on my color for the quiz i might even have to go two shades darker than Olympica, which would be the last shade in the brand. And a lot of times, if I do do the last shade, it's too cool. It's still not my skin tone. Right. So this one, these were, though, was in the uh, the W. So it's more warm, uh, more of a like a warm tone. And then, but under it, and I also did the primer from them. So they have a foundation primer. So again, we'll put everything Let's down see. that we use. So and this actually has an SPF in it, too. So I used the, the Time Wise Day Moisturizer before I even put on my makeup that had SPF 30 in it. And then this primer has SPF 15 in it. So it kind of like grips the makeup and things like that. And then I went with the, the matte um, foundation. Now this I've had on since probably like about 10 o'clock this morning mm -hmm. I probably like dab maybe once so the matte it really works good it's really matte so if you're dry you may want to go more like a uh, uh, with the luminous so uh, because it is it is really matte but I, I, I kind of like do want to say even with me being oily right now in the winter matte is not working for me it's just too matte but maybe too, because I like looking more like a natural skin tone, but the matte right now, I notice, and I want women to know this, during different times of the season, you're going to have to change up the foundation due to the weather change. Some foundations that look beautiful on you in the summer, works in the summer, maybe the spring. Some foundations that look beautiful on you in the winter are not most likely going to work in the summer. Right, right. And then so, like I said, just use these two. Um, I also use the um, um, my brows. Now, I'm still practicing. I'm not an expert on the brows, you know. But um, I they have a brow pencil that they make. It's really good. I got it in brunette. Um, so it's not too dark because, like I said, I, I don't want my eyebrows to be too, too dark. Um, and then um, also it's the... How much was this? The eyebrow pencil? Uh... 18 I believe okay. I believe it was 18 for the eyebrow pencil and then this is the volumizing brow tint so if you're like thin like I am so I just kind of after I kind of shaped it up with this I kind of went in and kind of filled it in a little bit with this it comes with a little little brush thing at the end and you kind of just fill it in and then I kind of just blended it in with the little pencil here so I kind of liked how it um 
how it came the out formula. with the yeah with the formula with the brows and then I also used their mascara so I didn't use lashes today so I could show you guys that I use and this is the uh, lash intensity so it has a really thick so and I have really small and thin eyelashes so this is good for if you have those it's two. pretty big yeah and I, I bought another one, like really like a cheap one when we went mm -hmm. to that makeup uh, thing and it had a really huge one. And, and so that's what I, I was like, oh, this is what I've been needing for mm -hmm. these little bitty eyelashes. But yeah, so, but it comes with the thing. So I really like this. I really like the packaging too of it. Really cute. And then so Neil, and then I, for the lips, also Mary Kay lip gloss. This is the one in um, Rich Spice. So it's kind of like a bronzy. That's what you like, have on now? Mm -hmm. Like a bronzy, like neutral, like color. I also bought this uh, like a berry, mm -hmm. which is really, cu really cute for, you know, brown skin. Um, I, I really like the way it looked. I, I, I wore it the other day at the baby shower that I went to. So and the only two things that I, that I did not, that I don't, that I didn't use that's not Mary Kay was my concealer just to brighten up under here and this is up by juvius and then i just used a little cheap little bronzer to kind of like you know just add a little bit of you know pizzazz even though i was going very neutral and, and just like a natural little glam look right. he was going for right. for the day right. if you guys heard anything pouring i was just pouring chardonnay i actually poured us a couple glasses of chardonnay so you can always sit back have a glass of wine like you're having you know tea talk with the girls <laughs> <laughs> um as far as my makeup right now that's been my favorite in the winter well like i said cause the only thing i've been able to wear is really like dewy glowy makeup right now but nothing is really working as well as my juvia stick this has been a game changer for me in the winter time right now i don't even use that much i might just one two on the sides one like a little mustache on the chin and it's two small lines here i never even put makeup on my nose i advise any woman don't put makeup on the nose because all it does is slip and slide it's easier just to brush your makeup on the nose so it can last longer throughout your day but what's really giving me this really pretty glow underneath is this Farsali liquid glass this right here <laughs> oh my goodness and I actually got this once again in my boxy charm <laughs> premium box okay and women ask me when I go to work women I see on a regular basis that ask me every time they see me what Cicely what foundation are you wearing right now and I tell them every time but I am forgetting to tell them I'm kind of cheating with this liquid glass it's been really nice and this even can be used as a primer it's a serum that can be used um, without wearing makeup but I've only been wearing it under my makeup because I have another serum I like using right now when I'm not wearing makeup which is the Caprice it's like an antioxidant do and this is something I've been trying to use anytime I'm not wearing my makeup I'm gonna put this on under basically my moisturizer but back to the time wise 3d when we did do the order from mary Kay, i just tried it the last two nights and i could say right now even after just using it last night last night i used the wash i used the night cream mm -hmm. i even used my eye cream last night and i was pretty impressed with how the skin felt and see that's how i felt like it felt like to me like it plumped tighter up. yeah yeah eliminated tighter. me right <laughs> Right. And when I did use You know, my dark spots under my eyes weren't even to me. That's been one eye cream that I got to say I've been really impressed with when I woke up the next day. So this morning, because what they do with the Mary Kay skincare is you'll get a day cream and a night cream. Mm -hmm. I love that. I did notice that the day cream is a little heavier. It has the SPF 30. Right. It feels a lot like SPF. It doesn't really feel like a moisturizer. But I put that on today and it's under my makeup still with and my... And I used it today too. See, for Solly Primer, mm -hmm. you see Olympica, she's still looking nice. It's nothing crazy. I'm not nothing crazy. We still feel like it's a little dewier. You see, you know, we finally got a new background. We're trying to step it up. Thanks, babe. <laughs> <laughs> But those have been some of my favorite things. Like even right now, Normie, for me, I'm just going to break off into some little one of my favorite makeup items right now that I've been using every time I wear makeup, which is my Juvia's Place blush palettes. 
Those have been my best friend to wear makeup. I haven't even been trying to bronze, you know what I mean? Really how you use the dark marks and you want to... Like the contour. Yeah, you really want to... Con I don't even need to contour anymore because my main one that I use more than anything is the Saharian Blush Volume 1 that comes with like this really dark like... Mm, maroon color today I do have on this one and I can say out of all the actual bronzer a lot of bronzers don't show up on me well or even last but this one will show up on me well I'm happy with what I see afterwards and today I did use I guess it's Neo I actually mixed Neo and Abby so I came down and kind of contoured with Abby I put Neo on top with just a little bit of bronzer, but this has been my favorite thing. Every time I wear makeup now, I wear that. I no longer look for contouring. It used to be really hard for me to contour because I felt like I was getting darker when I did try it or it wasn't dark enough and it wouldn't last. And something that I am going to throw in a plug is the Derma Blend Setting Powder Translucent. Oh, I forgot. I used that too. And I gave her one as well. Mm -hmm. And this that's is... That's like the after... To, exactly. Because we both own the Juvia's Place setting powder. I did get the one that looks more like the banana powder. I forget the name of that one. You did get one that was more like your skin tone. Mm -hmm. And she still loves it. I haven't heard her complain. I just went more illuminate because I wanted to work more under my eyes. I noticed since I started wearing glasses, it seems like sometimes I could just get a little bit puffier mm -hmm. under my eyes. But this will change your life because the transfer isn't as crazy anymore. My makeup will last me for hours. You see right now, me and her both have had our makeup on all right, this, day yeah, this long. This is like from 10, a, like about 10 a.m. And then oh, I and one see. more thing me and her both bought is the Mary Kay setting spray. And I haven't tried that yet. I oh tried the my spray. God. I have tried many setting sprays and... I love it. I don't feel like it slipped. It, you know, sometimes it can feel sticky. It don't yeah. feel right. Mm -hmm. You feel like after a while, your makeup look weird after you wore it. Mm -hmm. It's really and a that's nice... that's one I tried. That's it looked like it darkened the makeup it after. Did? Yeah. What and brand then it was, was that? Sticky. Um, I used, I think it was like a cheap one, like the e.l.f. one. Um, this is one I was just like, oh, let me just try a setting just spray same. because I never even you know, really knew too much about a makeup mm. setting spray. So I just tried it. But yeah, when I sprayed it on, it was just sticky. And then I felt like it changed the color of the makeup. So you do have to be careful with some of those, some of those, uh, the setting sprays. Oh, and Derma Blend even makes a really good primer. I've been using their Instagram Jelly Moisturizing Primer. Right. right. And, and then the, actually the Mary Kay is a is I want to try that next. It's a good equivalent to... That one, the Instagram so jelly, Instagram yes, jelly by um Derma Blend. When she told me it had the SPF in it, I knew it was like Derma Blend because that means this is a primer you can wear when you're not wearing makeup. So maybe for the guys that kind of just want to tighten up or look a little bit more dewy that's into their skincare, you can always use it. Or a woman who's not really into making them um, wear makeup, it's a game changer. But anybody who is wearing makeup, I used to think it was doing too much primer and setting powder but it changes right the you game. get like you get it now yeah you understand we get it you know like Change there's a there's a, a, there's a the method to the yes the so especially with us being oily and you see olympica right. likes some more matte even though i like dewy but i wanted it to be controlled dewy and not that i like it so much as more matte it's just because my natural skin is already so oily mm -hmm. so i try to stay away from things that are going to make it look instead of looking to me hydrated and moisturized and then sometimes you know you can just look greasy so I, she's you know, tripping. Her makeup could be looking fabulous. She'd be like, I'm looking too early. <laughs> and be looking fabulous. Yeah, like you're tripping. Feel like you're looking like skin. Like I'm looking makeup greasy. made of skin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then oh, to back to this palette. And they uh Juvius also has the eyeshadow palette to this, the Saharan. So I wanted to put mm. that in there because that's one of my favorite ones. So, I haven't ordered this one, but the Saharan eyeshadow one is really good, too. So, And I really think she should get it. I say get both. If you do decide to yeah. go with the blushes, mm -hmm. just buy both. Right. I did buy mine on sale. But they didn't have sale. this when I bought the eyeshadow palette. 
So Before they sold I'm out. Order this. I'm going to order this palette, the blush palette. I would say most likely it's best to order it online compared to an Ulta. Sometimes an Ulta can be sold out. So you won't be able to maybe purchase both products or if Juvia's Place is having a sale, definitely try and purchase it then because they sell out quickly. And that was probably one of the best investments I could have made because now I don't even think about contouring anymore like I used to and it wasn't working out for me anyway. But I don't remember if I did say we were drinking Chardonnay. We are using our glasses once again. Hey, Melinda. Melinda. Thank you, Melinda. <laughs> so, and then again, hit her up on, the, um, on Instagram, Melinda Serafin. And she has the glasses. She does mugs and um, insulated, like travel coffee mugs, all kinds of things like that. So plug plug for her too and then again Kanitha Wallace out of Atlanta Georgia um you oh, can Mary probably Kay. google Mary Kay um you can also uh you know look her up uh can we'll put her name in the link too she delivers anywhere because she's in Atlanta we're in California yes. and you know we got all of our products and goodies and things like that so it's made it really convenient for me to order again through them and yeah. I always forget how Mary Kay does have a very high quality product right and like, like an occult following yes i mean it's been around for a long long time so you know and i know some are probably like you know your mom and stuff is, a, is familiar with that but you know they have some stuff for us especially like you know getting in more into your 40s and things like that so even that time wise that's more of a line for if you are you know early 40s late 30s if you want to start the onset of aging the onset and then they also have where it's advanced but if you're, like I said, our age and you're looking just to kind of start preventing some things, you're seeing little, little fine lines, you want to look tighter, that time-wise set is a good start mm -hmm. for that. Uh, it's a good start. So like we said, it comes with the cleanser, you get the day and the night cream, and you also get this like an eye, um, eye serum. Because well. it's rare you're going to get in a whole package your day and your night cream. I haven't seen no company do that. Normally, you still have to buy them completely separate or only mm -hmm. the day cream are coming your set and you're going to have to buy right. your night or cream separate. Or they'll have separate. like the eye cream separate that, you know, oh, the eye cream is costing Sorry, my dogs want to bark right now. Dad is spanking in the middle of the video, but we're going to hurry up and wrap it up. <laughs> yes. One more plug I want to say I forgot that's been, I really enjoyed recently has been the NYX Born to Glow Concealer. It's been the first concealer I actually purchased that looks golden on me and just not too bright. If you're a more darker skinned girl like me, you'll love it. I tried mine in Cappuccino. I even like the NYX Born to Glow Foundation. Just right now, the Juvia Stick's been working better for me with this time of year. And Olympia even told me before there's shea butter in the inside of the Juvia Stick. Right. So it's great for our skin or maybe even somebody with sensitive skin. It would be something great for you to use. Once again, they are affordable because me and her do love affordable, even though we'll go expensive, but we do love well, we a great make deal. Some, yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. mix some affordable things Balling in. on a budget, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> so thank you once again for watching. Um, this has been real. We'll have our subscription video coming soon. When do you think your Nadine will be coming? Um... It should be coming in a few weeks. Okay, so she should be getting her Nadine. I definitely be getting my Boxy Charm hopefully in the next week or two. I'm really excited about my two boxes coming up. I'm going to give you guys more information again on the cost and thing. I'm going to constantly push it to all women because it is a great subscription to have where you can receive high end products, you can receive serums, eyeshadows. I've even received mousse wash for the body, dry hair makeup. I've been even not too happy about my December premium, but a lot of other people still benefited from them. I still was able to give items to um, my niece, Olympica's daughter. I was My son was able to use since he was so dry. They had this type of oatmeal serum. I'll talk about that another time, maybe when we're talking about skincare again. My daughter got some items out of it. So I've noticed if there are not things in there I can use, I can always give them away to Olympica, my daughter, my niece, my son, if it's a product that men could use. But 
it's a great subscription. Right. It's just a great way to try different products without breaking the bank. Exactly. Or if you, you know, you find something and you're like, oh, that's not for me. You know what I mean? Like you haven't spent so much money, you know, wasted, got to throw it out. New in yeah. skincare, new in makeup. Right. So. Right. Because I've been trying things too that I had to just throw out or say, you know, it's not worth it and stuff like that. So that is a good subscription to get into. Bye bye. Let's go. Let's give them a toast oh, before yes, we go. Yes, she didn't cheers, take one cheers. sip the whole time during I happy said, yeah, hour. She, she didn't. Once she again, we're drinking Chardonnay. <laughs> Love you guys. Toodles. Yes. Bye.